So hello, welcome to this video today. This video is gonna show you a full case on how to uh, prep and cement a, uh, a cantilever bridge, full coverage cantilever bridge. So the first portion of this um, of this treatment procedure essentially is just doing all the ancillaries. It's taking, uh, you know, an index so we can make a temporary crown. It's taking the bite here and also it's uh, taking an opposing alginate impression to send off to the laboratory. Luckily with this case, um, he lost his upper left two, but the upper left uh, one had a full coverage crown on it. So it's not going to be too destructive to make a full coverage cantilever bridge here. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and remove the old crown um, and try not to destroy the underlying tooth tissue underneath. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm just cutting a channel down the middle of the old crown and then I'm trying to just lever those pieces apart. And as you can see here, it just sort of comes away all nicely. So the, the prep tooth itself, um, it doesn't doesn't look too great so I'm just gonna very very gently um, sort of polish the the prep up with a, a fine grit uh, burr and these, these are really nice because got like a bit of a rounded edge on them so it gets like a nice sort of um, shoulder and we are just lovely lovely just, just clean it up not not much prep and um, I've noticed that there's a small cavity in the uh, plate aspect of this prep so um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna just gonna fill that in just normal composite nice and easy etch and bond and just place it in and then after I've etched and bond uh, the tooth and uh, the fillings in I'm just gonna give it a queaky, uh, cheeky little prep with that fine diamond grit burr. Next thing we're going to use is a some retraction cord with astringent. I've got a very special uh, flat plastic here that's quite a kind of thin, so it can really get into that gingival sulcus quite nice. I've noticed with some flat plastics the the the, the blade is quite thick. So this is this is my favourite flat plastic that I have in my drawer, and no one's allowed to touch it. What I've noticed as well sometimes is when you've um, retracted the gingiva that the, the you, you, you recheck the prep and some of the prep, um, sort of, some of the shoulder margins um, are sort of, I can't explain it really, it's, they've got like kind of little peaks on them and they're just removed ever so slightly. The next thing to do now is, is just to choose a colour really 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 tough and, and usually what I do when I uh, choose a colour is I will um, choose a few shades that I do like and then show the patient those shades and what I'm doing here as well as I'm um, checking the, uh, the 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 shade with the with with the denture in and, and the patient kind of likes the shade of the denture so we're gonna wait couple of minutes and then we're going to remove the retraction cord and use a high viscosity silicon impression material on the prep itself and I also like to just put it over the place where the pontic will sit on the gum as well get a really nice um, accurate impression of that area as well and then we're going to use a low viscosity silicon um, putty over the top and in this case we are using um, a silicon putty which takes a million years to set and um, which can be quite annoying so you've got to be super super careful you don't pull it off um, uh, prematurely so we're removing the impression now and the first thing we want to do is we want to inspect the, the the prep and I feel like I've got a nice impression there we had a little bit of pulling on the top portion of the prepar um, of the impression, but that that that's not um, not so much an issue. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to construct a temporary crown. Um, we're going to use that section large that we took right at the start of the video, and we're going to fill that with looks a temp. It's like a temporary crown material. We're going to fill that inside where the tooth was, and then we're going to push it up into. Uh, the uh, the preparation. Also, what I like to do is I like to squirt a little bit of the temporary crown material onto the back of my hand, and that gives me kind of indication when this um, temporary crown material is going to set. And 
I suppose you could argue, do you remove the uh, the sectional alginate when it's fully set or when it's kind of just set but, but still a little bit rubbery? And in my case, I'd like to always take it off when it's still a bit rubbery because you've noticed in between the two centrals there, there's a little bit of a, an undercut. And if the preparation is 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 hard, it might be hard to remove the temporary with that undercut. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to just prepare the outside of the uh, temporary crown just to clean it up a little bit. And I do this with the water off. Um, water on, it'll go everywhere, okay. And then we just like to try it in the mouth just to see if it fits nicely. And also get the patient to bite together. Just ask him, is it does it fit nicely? And it does and then just cement it on with just some bog, bog standard temp bond you know stick it on wait for the temp bond to uh, fully set and then uh, just remove it with a probe and also uh, a little bit of floss super super careful there not to catch the the, the gum okay because we don't want it to bleed and also we don't want to cause pain to the patient and uh, yeah, super, super, super simple. A little bit of floss in between. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, once we've um, cemented the temporary on, you wanna just check the occlusion, mainly because sometimes when you glue a temporary uh, uh, crown on, it can sort of make the crown sit proud slightly, so the occlusion might be off once you've uh, cemented it in place. We're gonna place the denture in and you know that's that's really really nice you know patient can go away now they can sort of live their life go to the shops and for two weeks that looks perfectly fine so two weeks later patient comes back we inspect what the temporary looks like and it hasn't um, stained the ginger has sort of grown over it nicely there and it looks pretty good so we're just going to remove the, the the denture here and then again we're just going to slowly jimmy off the temporary crown um, and it comes off lovely perfect and we're just going to clean the prep up with uh, an ultrasonic tip again it's really really important that you don't catch the gum in this place because it will affect the fitting or the cementation of this crown so we're going to place the the final bridge in here <clears throat> and um, get the patient to bite together and you know it, it looks nice and in this case um, the patient feels like the bite is 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 pretty good what I do want to do is um, even though the patient has said the bite is good I just want to check with the articulating paper that it does look uh, look good I check the palatal aspect here and um, it doesn't really show it well on here but it, it, it looked pretty nice and then we're going to cement the bridge back on with some key tack there's a slight debate here of the should you push hard when you cement and should you get the patient's bite together um, I um, uh, sometimes I like them to bite together sometimes I like them just to leave it as it is it's I suppose it just counts on my uh, how I'm feeling on the day and uh, with the key tack again it's kind of similar with the temporary crown filling material I don't want it to set completely before I start removing it because you might find it difficult to remove the key tack when it's super solid in between the teeth and um, what I'm doing here is I'm just removing um, some of the key tack from underneath the bridge um, with the floss. So I'm just going to hook it underneath the bridge. And um, once the bridge has been set, you know, I've, I've sat the patient up and I've had a little look and I think that the, 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 the central, the upper left one there just looks a bit long. And so I've just taken a, a drill to the, the, the bridge there just to, just to see and I think it looks much better. There you go, super easy. If you have any questions or any comments or you think you could have done better, please comment in the section below. I really, really enjoy looking at all your comments and um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye-bye.